Imagine you're talking to a five-year-old. How would you describe what your department does? My role basically is to help people understand what the goal and the objective is. So just imagine that we're playing a game of football. We have another team on the other side. I'm the captain of the football team and I have to help us understand how we should put everybody on the team and how we pass the ball so that we can score. Well, I'll tell her and make sure people don't get in trouble and I'll tell her that if she does get in trouble, she shouldn't injure herself. So my role at PAGA is focused on business development, which effectively is managing relationship partnerships with a variety of people, merchants, banks, the regulator, things of that sort. So my role is fairly self-descriptive, um, general manager online and mobile. So my business pretty much enables people to use and extract more value from their money through their mobile phones and online. I'll describe my role in PAGA as in charge of the piggy bank. What is the top trait of a top performer in PAGA? The top trait of a perf top performer in PAGA is ownership. Ownership and accountability. Someone who, whatever their role is in the company, genuinely takes ownership of the role and says, how do I accomplish this objective? So I would say will be collaboration. It's really important that across teams and even across companies that we engage with, um, it's critical that people are able to collaborate and make things happen. What is the most important leadership lesson you've learned? Is to always look inside for talent first because there is hidden talent in any organization. Having to... <sighs> Gosh. <laughs> Should I read this question? The most important leadership lesson I have learned in my experience so far is really self-awareness um, and realizing that the more aware I am about myself and I'm in the moment, um, the better I'm able to communicate with people, the better I'm able to handle various issues that come up and the better I am to be present in every conversation I'm having. Having to take the emotional the emotional stress of your people so that they can actually deliver. So it's just in terms of making them happy and in terms of culture, just making sure that they, they, they're they not disenfranchised in any way. I would say is that great ideas can come from anywhere. So um, listening to people and getting feedback is critical. Understanding that um, to be a leader, um, you need to put the interest of the people that you lead um, above your personal interest and your needs. What is your typical morning routine at work? I get to the office, I first of all make my coffee. Uh, the first thing I, I probably do is turn on my email. Uh, my typical routine would be check my emails. Two things, coffee and I check my calendar to confirm my schedule for the day. Typically, I wake up very, very early. I go through my emails and then go say hi to a couple of people and then dive in. Check my calendar and have a cup of tea. Um, and then I open my to-do list, update it, um, and I get to work. Um, and really focus on trying to crank out on the to-do list. I also look at my calendar to see what meetings I have, if there are things I have to prep for in advance or not. And so by the time I get to the office, it's really about you know spending time with the team or getting you know very quick meetings done. If not PAGA, what else would you be doing? My dream job, so to speak, would be to be a, an interviewer on a podcast. I would have been a hotel quality tester. Playing professional tennis. I will be couch surfing around the world. I really enjoy real estate stuff in general. What career advice would you give your younger self? I would give my career advice to my younger self as being learn career skills early. Um, I'll tell my younger self to trust her instincts more and be bolder. So I'll say, Jay, learn as much as you can. Um, school is fun, but don't focus too much on academics. There are other things to learn while you're going through that period. Always push yourself. In, like There are a lot of times you feel like you can't get something done or you're not up to a particular task, but you should rather, like you should be open to failing. And once you're open to failing, you find out that at some point you get things done and you get things right. The first is um, focus on doing things that you're good at or you're great at. The second advice I will give, I will give myself is to, you know, make sure that in whatever I do, um, I'm having fun. What is your secret talent? <laughs> My secret talent? Um, 
I believe I can dance, but other things I can't. Stick with talent. Uh... Some people may disagree, but I think I'm a really good cook. Okay, so if I tell you, it ceases to be a secret. I can't think of any right now. Being able to look at any problem and quickly think of solutions. What is your guilty pleasure? I have this insatiable thirst for adrenaline thrills. Chocolate. Chocolate is my guilty pleasure. I love to watch films. So I have to go to bed with sweets and sometimes I fall asleep chewing. What are your three favorite drinks? I love gin. Uh, whiskey. Gin and tonic. Starts off with coffee. First we have to be water. Red wine. Then gin. Broken tonic. So I really like gin basil. I also like to drink a lot of red wine. And then white wine. Champagne. And beer. And then probably coffee. A nice cup of hot chocolate. What is your least favorite thing to do at work? Uh, me. Meetings. I don't like long meetings at all. So the long meetings are the most horrible part of work. Is have to is to reprimand people. Ordering lunch can be a pain sometimes. <laughs> Filing. What was your first job? With a fast food company, actually KFC in the US when I went for my undergrad. Um, it didn't go very well. I'm a system buyer for an aircraft engine company. Surprisingly, I started my career as a model and look where I am today. <laughs> Bartender. I was about 15, 16, um, knocking door to door and selling smoke detectors to companies. Um, I didn't make a lot of money though. If you could pick up a new skill in an instant, what would it be? I would love to be able to speak Chinese, so that would be a great one to get. Mind reading. It would be playing the piano, play tennis. It would be to become a shrink and possibly join uh, Shrinks Without Borders. It, it, was, it was such a thing. <laughs> What is your favorite TV show? Watching Chelsea. Yeah. It's family Guy. It's a show called Frasier. Billions. Star Trek. What's your favorite quote? My favorite quote is. It's going out my head. It's going out my head. It's going out my head. Happiness is like pain in your pants. Everyone can see it, but only you can feel the warmth. If you want to go fast, go alone. Um, if you want to go far, go together. Um, there is a tide in the affairs of men. Um, if taken out the flood. Um, leads on to good fortune. Um, omitted, uh, the voyage of their life is um, bound for shallows and mysteries. That's very long. <laughs> if you bring enough smart and passionate people together into a room, that amazing things happen.